okay? The last person gonna get the ball, put it down. Okay, you're then the nine. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lovely pass. I joined the programme because I, yeah, I'd love to become a professional athlete. I think everyone that comes into a programme like this, their aspiration is to progress in whatever way that might be, if it's just like premiership or international. Ealing's investment here in, in the programme at Bruno is really exciting and it's a massive opportunity and I wanted to be involved in it. So I think I was here at the beginning before the programme was here and the things that it offered was so different. So the facilities here are obviously amazing. You've got loads of different coaches, analysis, all those kind of things that I'd never had before. So I think that was a really big thing because it could help my rugby so much. So that was a big factor. The facilities here are amazing. You can probably see the gym behind me is pretty epic. Um, and also all of the staff here are, are great. They're so encouraging and helpful. Obviously, they're tough when they have to be, but I think to progress, that's what someone needs. I found the programme um, intense, but really, really beneficial for my rugby. I've improved so much. Um, having a structured like gym programme, things like that, my strength has improved, but then on pitch as well, skills, etc., have, have improved a lot. And recently, we've had Giselle Mather join the programme as the director of women's rugby at Ealing, which is a really exciting opportunity for the girls to have such an inspirational uh, coach. Uh, she comes down and does um, sessions with Brunel, but also with Henley College. Um, and yeah, it's a really exciting opportunity to get to work with her. She comes to our game, she watches our footage, so she knows what we need to work on and she knows what's really important, what skills are really important to have to make it up to that next level. Um, and when she comes and gives a talk during you no know, half time or before a game, you can see how much knowledge she has. Um, so all of us are literally listen to absolutely everything she says and take it on board. I think it's been very difficult, if I'm being honest, um, changing from like going from under 18s to women's. I kind of now have to go into the game and analyse how I've played and what aspects I need to work on personally. Um, so balancing training and being a student is so much to do with organisation. If I haven't organised stuff beforehand I'll forget everything and I won't know where I need to be so I plan everything in advance um, the night before and then I know what I'm doing, I know where I need to be um, so that's really important. So sorry, it doesn't matter what we did to Surrey. Okay, at home, right? This is a tough game we've got away. I think in preparations for Edinburgh, we're all very excited to go on the trip. I'm very happy to be chosen for the team sheet, and I feel like everyone else who has been are very proud of themselves, and they've worked for it. Table. There's lots of things. Counting? I don't know, stacking. Well, I'll get them, I'll get them. Play cards. Yeah! yeah. 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 Oh, oh, don't do that. These are eye like that. Don't do that, yeah. you'll knock yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll knock yeah. your head yeah. 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 Trying to get 22 players and six members of staff from here to Edinburgh and back in one piece was quite a challenge. We looked at lots of options, but we've got, we've going on the train on Tuesday afternoon. Um, and then we're staying overnight near near the pitches in Travelodge and then coming back on Wednesday afternoon after the game. This is the furthest game we've ever travelled for before. Um, so it will be interesting, the whole travel aspect, because a lot of us are new to it. Um, I think going up a night early will really help us to kind of get acclimatised and things and make sure we're getting enough sleep. Hello, guys. Looks like I'm taking over for the rest of the journey. Hello, so we're here with Layla. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Yeah, feeling pretty good. Nervous. Is it not even recording? I know it is. Okay, right, go on. Yes, excited. We will win. <laughs> we have Maddie over here studying. How are you feeling Angry about tomorrow? Birds. I'm playing Angry Birds. Oh. Hello, what's your name? Ella. What position do you play? Scrum half. Nice, how are you feeling about tomorrow? No, that's worse. So excited. Who would you least likely want to be stuck on the lift with on the team? Uh, probably Annabelle. Hello. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> Annabelle. What position do you play? Lanka. So Ella, the number nine, said she would least likely want to second lift with you. How do you feel about that? Lies. Oh. Yeah. Hello. What's your name? Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm very well. So, what is your job, bro? 
My job's wrong, looking after you lot. Oh, okay. Um, how do you feel back tomorrow? Uh, if we can get you all off the train and into the hotel and to the pitch, I think we've done a good chance of uh, putting out the performance. So I imagine we're not going to be not going to be taking ourselves too seriously on the on the way up there, but as soon as we get onto the pitch, it's going to be all guns blazing and, and really focusing on the game ahead. It's really exciting for the girls to have an away game and hopefully have a really competitive game of rugby. We found that a lot of our league games are not as competitive, um, so it'll be good. We're, we're hoping that it's a really competitive match and that they really test us um, and test the girls' ability to to play for 80 minutes. I think Edinburgh is going to be a really tough game, but I think we're all really excited for it. Um, we're all going to bring what we can, our like our strength, our how we play. I feel like that's one of the best parts about our team. We know how we play and we stick to that no matter who plays us. We're not expecting this to be an easy game at all. We're expecting quite a physical game. Um, so it will be really interesting to see how we fare against that because I think they'll be our, our toughest game yet. So don't one moment think it's going to be an even walk in the park. This is going to be our hardest game of the season so far. Okay, um, so just bear that in mind. Four things that we worked on. Line speed, okay, off that line in defence. Depth in attack. Accuracy of passing, okay, and that communication in defence, making that one and two hit. go out there. You have 100% right from the kickoff. No slow start today. We're going to give it to them right away. Yeah? Big hits. Leave everything on the field. I don't want anyone walking off this field thinking they didn't give it their all today. Line-out is good. You are good. Okay, this is a tough game. Our toughest this season. Yeah? Happy with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's play well. Okay, let's up our game now and enjoy this kind of contact. Okay, this is what we joined this programme for. Games like this. Okay? Yeah, so enjoy it. Relish it. Okay, and be up for the challenge. Training, okay, you performed it, okay, which is really good. So, you should be really proud of yourselves. It shows you where we are, okay. We're growing as a, as a unit, growing as individuals, okay, and growing as a team, okay. But that just made a massive statement for us, okay, for Bruno Rugby. 1 to 22, really well played, okay. And on Cass. 1, 2.